Ah, hello everyone, hope you're doing well. So I have quite a swift little build for you today. Um, so basically I have um, a build I've done in the slog. This is my kind of go-to build. It's a very short one, but to add a, a little bit more detail to these um, fusion core generators, because I always find that you're kind of, there's the temptation when you're a generator to either build like some kind of quite robust structure, um, but also, which is unnecessary to be honest as well, it kind of, it's quite a commitment to space, shall we say. But I do need to get around to actually giving one a, a bit of a, bit of a bash. Um, because it has been a while. Um, but also the fact is you want something a little bit more out of the way. And this is a nice little straightforward build that just kind of makes your generators feel like they're a bit more defended against the elements. But at the same time, it's pretty easy. And it's, it's, like, literally, that's how thick it is right there. So basically, I've used the scaffolding pieces just to kind of... It, it's just easy to use. Um, the other bonus, obviously, is that you actually have those supports. I mean, to be completely honest, you can actually just use normal floor pieces if you want. I'm pretty sure when I did this the first time, it was at the slog. So I actually did use the normal floor pieces. However, I use the scaffolding because obviously the ground's a teeny bit um, uneven here. I'd recommend using scaffolding rather than the foundation. Like, you can make it too wide if you want. Like, two squares wide. However, to be completely honest, um, it's going to be a little bit too wide. And this kind of, I think, looks a little bit better if it's kind of slammed in the edge here. Now, quick note, right? Um, the Now, you actually you can actually snap these on if you add loads of floor pieces on and kind of work it around. But you can, as you see, you can just do it by hand eye and then snap them on manually but you will find that as I said the wall pieces don't actually snap on themselves um, so you can just plop it on there like that line up get it centered first by snapping it on first on the front and then bosh you're all good to go and then you can pretty much snap a roof to it snap to the side it's all grand um, also notice I'm using the barn pieces um, because well, it's the only thing that's the right height. If you try and use the normal pieces, you're just going to have bits of the generator sticking out the f top, and it's going to look a little bit shite. So you can see the floor pieces, um, you can use any one. Actually, in hindsight, I normally used the slightly meshy floors, but to be honest, I just went for the first floors. <laughs> so it's all grand. So what I do for the front is I use, as you can see, I'm just demonstrating here, but I use the greenhouse pieces. Now, this is going to involve a lot of rug glitching. Now, give me a moment, by the way, um, when I'm doing this. And the fact is that I do remember correctly that I had to remind myself um, the order of the rug glitches. Because basically, to get... Um, and I've mentioned this in an older video before, but basically, cables obviously have a bit of a, a quirky issue when it comes to going through surfaces. However, if you rug glitch the things they're attached to... Um, it uses the collision of the rug again, but that allows you to actually... See, I can snap these on here like this, but I still need to rug glitch things in. So if you'll see in a second, I pop some wee rugs down. It's really straightforward. Um, it sometimes can get a little bit of a headache. Um, you'll see in a minute, actually, <laughs> um, when I've got quite a few things rugged and I'm trying to put the light bulbs in. Because with this, it looks really cool if you put a little few of the cycle lights in. Um, and actually, like, I opted because it's a Nuka-Cola Nuka one to actually have the cycle lights on the inside red. But in my slog videos that a lot of you have seen, um, I actually turn it into what I've called the fish tank. Um, which basically means that I've made it look like it's a fish tank. I even put a disco ball in this one as well, I'm not going to lie. Even though it is largely unnecessary. It looks cool. It's a the red fish tank. So you can see it, with the rugs on both the pieces, um, I can actually basically move this around without actually worrying about the cable. And the great thing is, is if I rug glitch in place, I can then put wall pieces on and then rug glitch the things in. I do, because um, obviously I'm narrating over obviously already recorded footage because I knew this would be take me a little bit just to remind myself of the order. Um, but you need to put one wall of, one of the walls in first. And then I rug glitch it in like that. As you can see, and I've just I use the um where you can see the there's a kind of like a natural line going through the center, so you can actually get it quite centered. And as you can see, I've now rug glitched in. Now I do actually now you can leave it like this, by the way. And that is ostensibly the build. Um but what I want to do is I also want to add the lights in. That's one of the reasons why I actually use the um normal the slightly scrappy warehouse pieces on the side obviously you can use the barn pieces as well because it allows me to actually gain access see what i'm going to do right here 
and this is the other part I like because it adds a bit more quirkiness. People could be asking this actually, um, and I might mention it as their part of this video. You get these lights from the Wasteland Workshop DLC, and as you see, they're in the miscellaneous tab. Um, I actually end up having to rug glitch these, a uh, rug glitch the generator out because of the height. Um, because the top of the generator is actually touching the top of the wall, it can't, of uh, the ceiling rather, it won't actually allow me to annoyingly connect the bulbs, but it's pretty fine. All we do right here is we just pop this out, and then we just wire up the bulbs, and then we just rug glitch it back in. It's only for these ones just because they need to be wired. Normally you'd only have to actually attach it to the switch. So you can go up, exit the workshop, change them to red. There's going to be a red theme. Because it's a Nuka Cola theme settlement. And then we put the wall on. No, David, you've got to do it in the order. Wall first. Silly little twat. I do have a little bit of quirkiness with this snapping because I have to then. This is where it gets. It's not complex, but it can give you a little bit of a headache. No, David, no. Oh, actually, no, no, that is fine. You can leave that there. I will allow this. I'm trying to remember the order I did it. <laughs> um, you just find, with things like this, it's it's not particularly complex. You just might find yourself having to tediously move things to the side just so you can then snap the items. As also, you see right here, I do have a little bit of a, a quirky, ten temperamental situation with some of these wall pieces and the fact is that because the cable is technically in the way and also it's slightly a bit closer but you can see it's uh, it does snap on so we're good to go normally what you you would actually do is snap that on first then put the generator in afterwards as we did before but i was trying to be clever now i do remember you have to do this though obviously it's a, a lesser generator i'm just saying if you don't put it in but pop in your little disc mirror ball as well it seriously actually looks pretty good, because uh, it basically, it makes it look like a fish tank. I should have really taken a video of this at night time. I do have my slog video if you want to search for that, which shows um, a kind of a daytime, a nighttime version of a one which is a bit more blue, um, which looks pretty cool. And again, what I do with here is just that um, I'm just going to, because as I'm rug glitching it anyway, I might as well just add the concrete pillar at the bottom, which allows me to sink, sink this little switch piece in here. So one, you can't see the rug and have to worry about taking it off, but also it just kind of makes it seem a little bit more part of the ground. But there we go, guys. A really short little build. Um, I'm going to do a bit more of a robust video on various... Because I've got a couple of ideas for various generator rooms I can put together. Not like buildings, but more like kind of mini storage sheds like this. I'm going to try and experiment. But I hope you enjoyed that. I'll have another video up tomorrow because I've already half recorded that one now already. Um, as always, follow me on Twitter, at NoRespawns. And I'll talk to you lovely people soon. Take care.